Hi, my name is Rashad Newsom. Welcome to my Matrix 161 exhibition. In this particular show, I'm showing a couple of different projects. Um, in this room, I have a sweep of some of my two-dimensional work, which are um, collages and custom-made frames. And then I have two video works. One is an ongoing project called The Conductor, in which I'm remixing the entire Carmina Burana, one movement at a time, with the assistance of uh, local New York radio stations, Hot 97 and 105.1. In the other room, I have a video that is also an ongoing performance work sort of my version of a chamber music piece. Uh, it consists of about 25 African-American women separated into uh, instrumental sections, sort of like string, brass, woodwind, and percussion. But in this case, uh, teeth sucking, finger snapping, and huffing and puffing sections. As the women make the sounds, I use a device that I created using the Nintendo Wii to record, loop, and compose the sounds live. So I sort of act as the conductor during the performance. I started this work in 2005, and I've been sort of acting as the herald to my generation. And um, when I started the work, it was really about uh, recreating images of or heraldic achievements from 17th and 18th century, but using uh, images from popular culture that represent status, social status, economic status, or status as a warrior. And now I've kind of extended the work to the frame and sort of taking this sort of these over-the-top images of desire and um, also bringing that into the frame. So the frames are 17th century neoclassical frames that I've uh, added a lot of bling to and then I work with a body shop out in Long Island that um, focuses on supercars so all the frames are painted in Lamborghini colors, Ferrari colors, Bugatti colors with uh, certain additives uh, synonymous with hip-hop culture like candy paint and pearlescent paint. All of these projects actually emerged around the same time. The first one would be Shade Compositions, a performance work and I was in Paris at the time working on that and while I was there, you know, I wanted to make work outside of performance, so I needed to do something. I needed to have some kind of formal studio practice. So I got some magazines, and that was the beginning of this collage work about heraldry. And it kind of came out of um, constantly being uh, bombarded with these heraldic symbols all over the city. So I was really inspired by them and, and started to research the history and, um, and the, the methodology of heraldry and decided to kind of adopt that and make it my own. Nobody really knows the original origins of heraldry, but it dates back to when the knights um, would go to battle, they would make these elaborate images on their helmets and shields. It became more of a bourgeois thing, and it was a way that people can um, express their wealth and their statue in society using elaborate images. It's usually comprised of a shield image, and on the shield you have what's called a, a bend, or an ordinary, which divides the shields into different uh, different parts and then on the shield you have different images that represent social status, economic status, or status as a warrior. I take this formula of creating this type of image but replace you know coronets, helms, mantling, griffins, and unicorns with video girls, bling, cars, money, and uh, certain rappers that I feel uh, represent the royalty of today. I think the overarching theme in all of the work is an interest in collage, but collage in the grand sense, whether that be collaging together images from magazines, found footage, or sound from women, being, sounds women are making live on a stage. I think it's the general overarching theme is um, using collage as a means to achieve abstraction.